Magnum? Magnum? Magnum! What is it? Steady. Oh, look at this! Isn't that interesting? I, I don't think he likes me. Yeah. Did, didn't you once say that dogs were excellent judges of character? Oh my god, you're enjoying this. You have Stay. no idea how much I'm enjoying this. This is not too much fun, is it? Okay, just do something. Okay, I will. Oh, really? <laughs> I just gotta get one shot. This is beautiful. Yep, perfect moment for a photo op there. <laughs> Magnum P.I. is in the middle of its second season on CBS. We're so excited to be joined by its star, Jay Hernandez. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Good yes. to see you. Yeah. How are you liking the New York cold? Actually, it was, nice this, it was actually no. nice this weekend. Yesterday was alarming. Yeah, right. was, it was like Hawaii uh, weather. I, I went into a brief moment of panic when I realized I had no, like, you know, long coats, scarves, or anything, and then I got here. It was not even that, nice. yeah. that, not that at all. Can we talk about this before we get into the rest of this season, about this Magnum P.I. Hawaii Five O crossover episode? Episodes at the uh, beginning of the year. Fans were thrilled about that. I, th I feel yeah. like that was so well received. What was the vibe of that on set and, and like how that all played out it from was your perspective? It was, from my perspective, it was interesting seeing Alex because he's been in Hawaii on a show there for like 10 seasons. So, I mean, that's like potentially my future. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. five, 10 years from. From, uh, down Fingers crossed, line. right? Yeah, like, that'd yeah, be great. I think the show's gonna be all right. I think we're, we're I think in you're good, shape. yeah. And people really received the uh, crossover really well. They were psyched to see like the kind of two worlds come together. And, and Peter Lankoff is the creator in both the shows, so you know, like trying to work it out logistically was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. I but imagine. but we worked <laughs> it out, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so I'm imagining we'll probably do it again. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Something. That, yeah, when it's that well received, it's happening. Again. Yeah. Fans are loving it. What can you tease for the rest of the season? Rest of the season, I mean, you know, there's a lot of crazy cases. Um, I think the the show that is going to be airing soon, the next new one, is has bo stars Bobby Lee, who plays this character Jin, who is like this kind of like shady street urchin with a good heart though. Okay. So he brings a lot of the comedy, you know, like comedic beats and everything. So a lot of action, you know, kind of the same stuff. I like that. Yeah. Uh, funny story, when you first got the role, I heard your mom was only interested in meeting Tom Selleck. Oh, she didn't care about me. <laughs> not, not, forget you, forget this no. thing. Like if you can get her in the room yeah, with Tom Selleck. Yeah, I, I took him to this like wonderful steak dinner, had nice, you know, nice bottle of wine, all this stuff. And I was like, <laughs> Told her what was going to happen, and the, literally was like the first question: When do I get to meet Tom Selleck? I'm has, like, Knock it off! Has mom. it happened? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so it might. But, but what does she think of the show now? You're, it's she rolling. Loves the show. Oh, she dude, likes she it for other reasons. Show. Yeah, she okay, loves good. the show. She was a huge fan of the original, as was I. Right. And uh, now she gets to watch her son be uh, be, be, be Magnum. Not a bad thing. Yeah. And you film in Hawaii. Nice in Hawaii. life. I actually just got back from Hawaii yesterday. Oh, did you really? We did so many activities: whale watching, you know, helicopter, volcano. Did you, did you get to do diving, anything? Skydiving. Yes. Like there's. So much to What's been do the most over extreme there. Hawaii thing that you've gotten to do? Uh, I've done scuba diving, which I, I never had done prior to being out there. So um, there's these uh, group of guys who are ex Navy SEALs, and you can actually uh, go and jump out of a helicopter into the dive, like into a boat. You go go in the water, go in the boat, then you go scuba diving. It's like this whole like Navy SEAL, wow, thing, which I feel cool. like I have to do because my yeah. character is a Navy SEAL. Makes sense. Yeah. So. Your brother was in the Navy, right, for 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. yeah. He retired about a year ago. How did that? Has he kind of like helped you get in the the zone for the role? Any oh, like yeah. tidbits that I, really were helpful? There was a, there was a couple times where I'm in like sort of like dress uniform or anytime I'm in uniform, I shoot him a photo and I'm like, how's this look? Is this Okay, and he's caught a couple mistakes. Oh, really? Like people, like that different people be have there. Or this exactly. Because yeah. right. you know, you know, people online. It's like this is not right. You had this. Is the, at least you can get this correct. You know, yeah. like. So whatever. How lucky are you to have him? Yeah. That's great. I always defer to him. He's a know. text away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always shooting him pictures. Like, are we good? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's get action. You know? Yeah, the cast is really close. You yeah. even roomed with Zachary Knighton. I did. Before. Yeah, so how was he I as did. a roommate? Uh, he was like my set wife. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I'd have long <laughs> days. I'd get home after a, a, a nice hard day of work, and there'd be some, like, you know, Italian food and a nice bottle of red wine Very waiting sweet. for me. I'm not even lying. I'd come. And so, you know, at some point, you know, we went our separate ways. We had a little divorce party 
And, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we still get okay. along. Friendly we're, axes. Yeah, we're sharing the dog. Oh, good, 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 good. We yeah, can conjugal. Good. <laughs> uh, not conjugal, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> an amazing career. Let's move on from it. You've had an amazing <laughs> career. You told our producer you've had a, at least two pinch me moments in like the last year or so, right? Yeah. What, what, what yeah. are those been? Well, one of them was, uh, you know, prior to doing Magnum P.I., I, I was flipping through the TV. And I just I just found him uh, randomly found a an episode of Ma the old one with Tom, and he was like on a surf ski going through the bay in Hawaii, and it was like uh, no less than like two three months later I was doing the exact same thing shooting the exact same scene uh, in Hawaii playing Magnum PI. So it was wow. this strange surreal moment, yeah. you know of. Uh, of, of discovery. I don't know, maybe it was like some kind of um, uh, mystical, magical thing like yeah, the prior right. guest. Like guys, yeah. If Is I had it, talked to him about it, yeah, he, he would, he would have known well in advance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe some premonition almost. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. really cool. It's strange, yeah. but, but, it, but it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun, man. It's like a cool character. It's an iconic character. It's a lot of fun. The show is, what's really cool about the show is like it really touches a lot of different demographics. So I have fans who like, you know, and I, I was at a restaurant, you know, like two weeks ago and this like 90 year old lady you know it's like hey my mom is a huge fan of the show can you take a picture of her and on the way over here in the airport it's like a 10 year old kid you know so I, that's one thing that I yeah. love about it is it really really spans like big range yeah. yeah big range big range that's wonderful all right ready for a little game yes let's okay do that. I, I don't know no, okay well we'll see okay. now Magnum was known back in the day for his mustache now you've rocked a good mustache before I have yes. seen something going on there a little bit I, just a tad bit so we're yeah. play a game called name that stash we're okay. gonna show you a celebrity's mustache <laughs> You have to guess who it is. All right, let's okay. see. I'm sure you got it's like be, really good at this by taking fine. on the role, right? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you can identify know. any famous know. mustache now. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. All right, here we go. Start with this one. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? This one? That, yeah, that, that big one there on the screen. <laughs> oh, man. I don't. Who is that? Uh, I'm going to give you a hint give Avengers. A hint. A no. um, I'm going to give you another hint Captain. <laughs> Is that Evans? Yes. Chris Evans. Chris yeah. Evans. yeah. The go. reveal. Yes. There we go. I know. It's a well, tricky one. Yeah. That was really tricky because he's not I, known for the stash. I prefer him with a little bit of the beard. Uh, a little something out. Yeah. yeah I think he brought that. He's brought the beard back since. That was for, for sure. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to this one. We have another stash for you. Oh, that's Hulk Hogan. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That's a neat. That was pretty spot. noticeable. Yeah. All right. Here's another one. Will this one be more Geraldo? Geraldo. Wait. Hold on. There we go. Geraldo. Now you know we should have cropped that one down. You can see the little bit of the glasses. I think that glasses. did it. It's yeah. like, there's Geraldo. All right, oh, all right. you're yeah, killing it yeah, now, by the way. Really good at this game. I didn't think I was going to do well at this. Okay, we have another one for okay, you. So let's. You may have stumped me here. Mm. It almost looks like uh, Quentin Tarantino or something, but he does not have a mustache. Here's a. You want a hint? Yes, give me a hint. Comedy actor, primarily. Is that Paul, and I'm going. Paul Rudd. Yes. Paul Rudd. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There we go. I knew it. Wow. <laughs> that was a tricky one. That yeah. was kind tricky. Of I'm actually very proud of myself. That's Steve Harvey. Oh, we did. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's we coming up in the vanity before we get. Yeah, oh, this yeah. Is, <laughs> I mean, that's okay. You're good. You're seeing that it is the Steve Harvey. So. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's psychic, everybody. Yeah. I have no idea. Oh, wait, I'm having a break. It's coming. To me. It's coming to me. <laughs> it's, it's Steve Harvey. <laughs> Uh, and then yeah, I, hold on yeah, a second. We'll cover the thing. I'm not gonna look down there until you. Okay, turn. okay. Go, go to the next one, guys. Right, Bring it up. One. There you go. You're free to answer. I don't, you know, I don't know who this is, but mm. he looks. He's like a obviously a beautiful man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. incredibly uh, handsome. Great probably officer. highly intelligent. Let's yeah. see. Let's see who it is. It's the, the bigger it? reveal. Oh, it's yeah. you. Yeah. It's me. Whoa. I still wouldn't know that was you, actually, <laughs> if you were here. <laughs> if you were here to tell us, I would think that was someone from like Reno 901 or something, yeah, right? Like, yeah, that was, uh, I, I'm trying to remember what show that was, but that was prior to the show. The Aviator just, Shades. Just getting, just getting into character, you know what I mean? It's nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, would you have rocked a stash for this role if that had been the thing? Was that ever a discussion? I mean, it was like the first question I had, you know, I wanted to like, figure do you out want if that we were going to do right. it. As, yeah. and, no, I didn't want to do it. Okay. You didn't want to do it. At least Tom's thing. Yeah, yeah of course. Like, so actually, it was not written like that. That was what Tom Selleck brought to the brought to the role. That's what the producer told me. So I was like, all right, that's Tom's thing. Let's do something else. And they were, they were, you know, of the same mind. They did not want to go with the, the stash. Yeah. And anyway, now it's kind of like, 
it's it's kind of a hipstery thing. It's like a it different is. vibe than mm -hmm. you know, it was the Tom in the day, right. era. It wasn't. It was like I don't know. It was like sort of manly and whatever. But now it's kind of like hipster. I think it would have like longer hair, and yeah. like tattoos and stuff. Uh, yeah, you have a little goatee thing yeah, going a little here. Bit. Anyway, yeah. wow, we've really gone yeah. in on. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you Congrats so much. on everything. Yeah. And everyone, make sure you catch Magnum PI on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS.